And once you get into the sober lifestyle, once you have a few weeks or months behind you, you know, there's certain things that will pop up uh, the certain times when you're going to find it difficult to, you know, just the thoughts pop into your mind, there's uh, challenges that you have, you know, maybe times that you would normally drink um, where the opportunity is to drink and, you know, you don't want to, but there's pressure on you to have a drink. So I want to give you a few strategies that you can use for dealing with any sober challenge. Number one is find your reason why. And why is this number one? Because if you don't know why you're doing this, if you don't know why you want to stay sober, if you haven't got the motivation to do this, you're not going to get very far. So you have to look for that motivation. You have to look for the incentive, you know, the incentive that's going to keep you going, the incentive that is going to push you through the times when you've got the most temptation. You know, what is the thing that's going to stimulate you to carry on, to put up with all the shit and to carry on? despite not feeling like doing it, despite feeling like giving in. Everybody needs a certain amount of uh, enticement. Uh, everybody needs a certain amount of provocation every so often. And that is what your reason why, that's what your motivation will give you. Number two is don't stress it. Don't look for stress where there is no stress. You know, what's the worst thing that can happen? This is often something that I do if I'm feeling anxious or fearful about something that I have to do. I say to myself, what's the worst thing that can happen? What is the worst thing that can happen? Because if you know that, then that's the, the, the lowest that you can fall. And most of the stress that you're going to cause is in your own mind anyway. You know, you can turn the stress up, you can turn it down in your own mind by the stories that you tell yourself. So always be looking to try and narrow the stress down in your head. Always be looking to try and narrow everything down in your head so that you you're facing smaller and smaller tasks even when you're facing huge tasks um, break it down so that what you're actually facing is the next step and then the next step and then the next step and when you break it down like that is a lot less anxiety all right the third strategy i want to give you for conquering any sober challenge is to just take it step by freaking step right take your goal like your goal is out there in front of you this is what you want to achieve and break it down into smaller steps, smaller chunks, and then take that step by step by step. That's so what we're saying in the, the last step here, that if you can break it down into smaller chunks, then it's a lot easier to deal with mentally and uh, from an anxiety point of view. You know, just narrow down your field of view and uh, see things for what they are. Enjoy every step of the way as well. You know, take it as this is a journey and the journey is about, life is about enjoying every moment. It's not about getting to goals and um, achieving those goals. It is to a certain degree, but it's also about the journey. You know, when I'm out on these walks and I'm looking at the mountains around me around here, I see, uh, sometimes I can't see the, the, the mountain or the place that I want to get to, but I can see the place that's going to take me there. So I just take it step by step by step. If you're climbing up, uh, you want to climb up a tall building um, through the stairs, you take one step at a time. You don't have to see all the stairs. And the next one, number four, is to just be realistic about your time and energy, right? You're going to consume time. You're going to consume energy in anything that you want to do. But every single thing takes time. It takes effort to, uh, to see it out to its fruition. You know, forcing things through, forcing things and trying to rush things is just a complete waste of time and energy. And as I said, this is about the journey. This is about living your life to the fullest. You know, being the best possible version of yourself is about being in the moment, right? Living that moment. The moment goes like that, but you're on to the next moment and the next moment, right? There's no point in seeing too far in the future. You have to look around at the scenery that's around you. Look and see the scenery. And number five is just to go public, to tell somebody, to tell people what you're doing. I mean, it's amazing how or what the effect is of getting somebody on your side, you know, getting the right people on your side. It's great if, you know, these people are like-minded, you know, if they're on the same wavelength, if they're, especially if they're on the same journey as you, because that can really, really help you. You know, if you want to know also who your genuine friends are, you know, who the friends are that you can really count on in any situation. You know, it's one of the questions that we have of, you know, how do I tell whether 
you know, the friends that I should keep and the ones that I get rid of. You know, this is how you tell. You know, these are the people that you should be keeping around, the ones that are really there to support you on this journey. They're not trying to put a spanner in the works, but they're trying to solidly give you solid help. Number six is that failure is a big part of this journey. It's a big part of any success that you're going to have in life. It's a big part of beating any challenge. You know, early sobriety is a huge challenge for all of us. There's going to be lots of mistakes, lots of failures, lots of opportunities. Hopefully it's just not a failure where you have a drink again. I mean, as long as you keep out that, then have as many failures as you can, because these are the things that are going to really help you to learn. Henry Ford said failure is an opportunity to begin again more intelligently. And I can't agree with that more, you know. Life is what you make it. You know, it always has been and it always will be. And the seventh way to conquer any sober challenges that you have is just to make sure that you take regular breaks and give yourself rewards. You know, you've got to take time out. You've got to take regular time outs. You've got to take time for yourself. You've got to take time to pat yourself on the back and, you know, say to yourself, well, look, you know, you're, you're getting so far, you've gone so far. Look at how far you've come not how far you have to go and you know it's a lot of this is about developing new ways to have fun it's developing and experimenting with new ways to have fun everyone goes through this same journey of you used to drink to have fun or you used to drink for the perceived fun now you don't and you have to look for other ways to do that you know to bring that into your life so it takes time but you've got to take time to um, to have fun in your life to put yourself into that position you know life is short so you've got to find balance you know there's You've got to find a balance between working towards the goals that you want and uh, sitting back and enjoying the rewards of those goals. Now, as I said in the beginning, everyone's going to go through these sober challenges and sometimes people find it hard to actually stay sober. So if that's your problem, then watch this video next. I think you'll get a lot out of it. Take care. Onwards and upwards. Bye now.